Hi, and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech. We're coming to you from ServiceNow's Knowledge 18 in Las Vegas. I'm Kirsty McGowan. I'm here with my co-host, Carlos Casanova. Hey, Kirsty. How are you, Carlos? And we have the pleasure of speaking with Dan Turchin from Astound today. Hi, Dan. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Carlos. Good, Good to be here. here. Good man. So, AI. Oh. It's, yeah, it's pretty scary for some people, I guess. Uh, Astound is doing a lot of work in that area. So do you want to just just tell us what you know where Astound has come from, what, what you're doing, and, and a little bit about the, the work you're doing with your customers? Absolutely. So Carlos, we had a chance to talk last year at the same event, and yep. gosh, it's been a big year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> few things going on sure, in, sure. in the world of artificial intelligence and yeah. machine learning. And of course you've changed your name since then too, haven't that's you? Very, <laughs> that's a very good point. We yeah. were NAVA last year yes. when we talked yeah. and we are now yeah. Astound as of the end of January. Uh, Astound is an AI platform for employee service. Yeah. Right. So here me and 18,000 of my closest friends are talking about <laughs> how to deliver better customer experiences with technology. Right. And increasingly you're hearing about the theme of automating routine work using AI and machine learning. Well, mm -hmm. Astound has always been on the front lines of that trend. Right. And what we mean when we say it's an AI platform for employee mm -hmm. service is we talk about it as wrapping a horizontal layer of intelligence around a traditional system of record and integrating it with mm -hmm. a system of collaboration. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden employees can now engage with virtual agents interactively using natural language. And fulfillers have the opportunity to get really smart really quick using AI and machine learning to automate the decision-making process. Right. So, you know, one of the things that, if I recall correctly, you really uh, go at it from, uh, you know, from the use case perspective, right? So, um, talk a little bit about that, you know, how you engage, when you engage with your our clients, how you, because I, I know there's a, a big hurdle at times to mm -hmm. kind of get them to understand that. You know, talk a little bit about that, you know, and how you engage them in a use case sort of approach. Yeah. So first off, um, we talk about practicing responsible AI. So we're big advocates of A, focusing on the user experience, focusing on business value, and B, making sure that the platform is configurable in a way that takes all of the, the magic, the hype, the confusion mm -hmm. out of artificial intelligence. Yep. So a lot of the capabilities built into the platform give you granular control over how the machine learning is making decisions so that you have complete confidence that it's going to make accurate decisions, but also there are no black boxes. We think right. that's really critical. And the other aspect of the platform is making sure that the customer has an experience with these mm -hmm. AI-driven tools that delivers better experiences than the alternative, which would traditionally be sending an email to the help yep. desk or picking up the phone. Yeah, that whole user provisioning is, it's a, it's a real grind. When, you, when you're actually having to do it physically. So that um, being able to take that layer away must make it pretty inviting for, for your customers to, yeah, to do that. The, the ultimate litmus test of the value that this down platform provides is when we can get metrics from mm -hmm. our customers that indicate it's making a difference. Yep. And when I say it's making a difference, I don't necessarily mean it's reducing MTTR or improving IT metrics. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's improving business metrics. Yeah. Right. Well, it's taking away that friction. Isn't yeah. it? it's, uh, things get better to service lot experiences. Yeah, mm. yeah it's it's yeah, it's interesting because that's the one thing. You know, obviously, uh, at Knowledge eighteen, you know, we're hearing a lot more of. <clears throat> for some of us that have been, you know, trying to preach a lot of that, it is great to start hearing more. It's not technology. It's not IT. Mm. It's business. Yeah. Because ultimately, that's really where the value mm. matters. You know, yeah. it's not how great we are in IT or not. If that doesn't translate to some, you know, some realized value, some you know, value from a business perspective, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. So, you know, when you're engaging with your with your customers, you know, how quickly does this happen? You know, because obviously, if it's machine learning, you need some data points there to to assess yeah. you know, the patterns, trends, and stuff to basically make the right recommendations. When you engage, how do you, how does that happen? You know, if someone mm -hmm. comes to you, and how quickly can we start seeing some of this mm -hmm. uh, realized value? Good question. I'll give you an example that's top of mind. Mm -hmm. Right after we finish this recording, I'm going to present a session with McDonald's. Uh, a friend of mine is Joel Eagle, who led the Astound implementation at McDonald's. McDonald's has been using Astound, four apps built on our platform, for about 18 months. 40,000 restaurants and 2 million employees wow. use Astound yeah. every day to make their lives better. And back to kind of how long does it take yeah. and how do we measure the value? Well, how long does it take? Um, 
They were in production in about a month with the first of the four apps that sit on the platform. It's called Predict, and it uses machine learning to fill in the value of any field in any form in any application using AI. It then hands off to an application called Advise, which uses machine learning to tell the fulfiller how to fix mm -hmm. the problem faster and how to fix it the right way the first time. Right. Advise then hands off to an application we call Analyze. And Analyze uses predictive analytics to tell the service owner, what's the health mm -hmm. of my service, what's the health of my infrastructure? So at McDonald's, they were in production in about four weeks with Predict. There was a machine learning model mm -hmm. that had been developed. They helped tune it. They went into production with that. But the beautiful thing about machine learning is that it gets smarter all the time. Mm -hmm. So what? Unlike humans. <laughs> well, <laughs> perhaps present company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, us three. Yeah. 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 Everyone else in Let's the world. Let's just say it learns very quickly. Yeah. 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 Um, and so what McDonald's found is that um, the mother and her three kids, hungry at the end of a long day, yeah. is that they're more likely mm -hmm. to get their Happy Meals served on time and the right stuff mm -hmm. in the right box, right. Yep. thanks to AI. That, that's translating technology into real-world yep. value. Yes. Right. And yep. so I'm so inspired by customers like McDonald's mm -hmm. or um, Adidas, yep. the company we refer to as Adidas, is here mm -hmm. as well, talking about <laughs> their journey with yep. AI through Astound. All of these rich stories about how AI and machine learning are being used today mm -hmm. to make lives better, that's, that's the promise yep. of the technology. But do you, do you get resistance to the idea of AI and machine learning? Do, so I don't that really don't want to hand, over to, you hand over. over to the robots? Do you, do you get any of that sort of, of pushback? It's natural. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Everyone, everyone wants to talk about the bot apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. And, and I feel like it's incumbent on us. <laughs> to make you know, sure that doesn't happen. It's the best bot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I mean, one of the best conversations I've had over the last year mm -hmm. was with a call center mm -hmm. agent who was reluctant. Her name is Maria. Mm -hmm. I actually wrote a blog mm -hmm. post about this. Um, her name's Maria, and she told me mm -hmm. that since using Astound, um, she now gets out of the office mm -hmm. an hour earlier. And what yep. she's been able to do is now pick up her mm -hmm. kids from school, and she never yep. used to be able to do that. Right. That's, that's making yep. an impact. Yes. Yep. Right? That yep. She took that 20% mm -hmm. of the time that she got back thanks to AI and machine learning, mm -hmm. and she's a better human. Right. She's a better mom. Right. Right? She's a better mm -hmm. person. Yeah. And, I mean, and, and from a business perspective, the work's still getting done. It's, probably, it's yep. getting done faster, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. probably more reliably. Yeah. And the human side mm -hmm. of it, is you know yeah. is obviously a, a huge yeah. upside. So yeah. there, there, there's just to your question. There's fear, <coughs> but only until you actually until use the technology, and then you yeah. realize how much better it makes yeah. you at whatever it is you care well, you about doing. Yeah. Well, you're taking away those repetitive tasks that really right. just made your day drag on and on and on. Right. So yeah. yeah. Well, Dan, as always, great uh, you know having you on. Mm -hmm. You know, excited. Congratulations, I guess on the on yeah. I probably probably not so much the name change, but the you know evolution of yeah. uh, Navia. And I'm um, looking forward to the bot revolution that you guys are, uh, are leading. Yeah. It's not a bot apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a revolution, yeah. and it's making us as humans better. Absolutely. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Carlos. Thank Great you. to talk to you.